Hi, I'm Billy Bragg, and although this looks like the Barbican, tonight it's Washington Square Park, it's Folk City, it's the Café Noir. This is Greenwich Village Revisited, and we've got some of the great stars from the Folk Revival for you in the programme. The Greenwich Village scene back in the late 50s, early 60s was a bohemian sort of paradise. There were all these wonderful songwriters wandering around. You know, you'd meet Eric Anderson on the street and Tom Paxton on the street and Bob Dylan on the street. People who came to visit Woody Guthrie or the Weavers or the Pete Seeger, people like that, they made this pilgrimage to the village. I guess we became an artist colony, although we didn't know that. There was something that was happening that was unmistakable, it's sort of like what just happened at, in, the U, in the U.S. with this election with Obama, a sense of possibility, a real understanding that we were doing, we were changing the world. I ain't got no home, I'm just roaming around. Just a wandering worker, I go from town to town And the police make it hard for me wherever I do go I ain't got no home in this world anymore No, I ain't got no home in this world anymore My brothers and my sisters are stranded on this road A long and dusty road that a million feet have trod Now the rich man took my home and drove me from my door and I ain't got no home in this world anymore No, I ain't got no home in this world anymore I was farming on the shares and always I was poor my crops are laid into the banker's store And my wife took down and died All on the cabin floor And I ain't got no home in this world anymore No, I ain't got no home in this world anymore I'm minding your minds And I gathered in your corn I've been working, mister Since the day that I was born Now I worry all the time Like I never did before and I ain't got no home in this world anymore No, I ain't got no home in this world anymore Now as I look around it's mighty plain to see This world is such a strange and a funny place to be Where the gambling man is rich While the working man is poor And I ain't got no home in this world anymore No, I ain't got no home in this world anymore Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, Woody Guthrie's comment on the credit crunch there. I ain't got no home in this world anymore. And um, as you're well aware, uh, tonight we've got a great lineup. Uh, you know where they are because they're on that poster there behind me. The great thing is, my name is on the poster as well. I'm very excited about that. 
And uh, that and being the baby of the bill, that cheers me up no end. I'm very pleased about that. <laughs> Our first guest this evening uh, was the lead singer of the band that put the rock into folk rock, the birds. And uh, although they're well known for uh, covering the songs of uh, Bob Dylan, they also had hits with the songs of Pete Seeger. But our guest tonight was a singer-songwriter in his own right before he fronted the birds. Please welcome Roger McGuinn. take you through some of my personal back pages tonight. I started out in folk music, and I remember seeing Odetta when I was 16 years old. She was a really wonderful performer. And this is a song that she did at the 1963 March on Washington, D.C. with Martin Luther King. Oh, freedom, oh, freedom. Oh, freedom over me And before I'll be a slave I'll be buried in my grave And go home to my Lord and be free No more shooting No more shooting no more shooting over me And before I'll be a slave I'll be buried in my grave To go home to my Lord and be free And they'll be singing They'll be singing They'll be singing over me And before I'll be a slave I'll be buried in my grave And go home to my Lord and be free Before I'll be a slave I'll be buried in my grave And go home my Lord and be free. Folk songs usually are comprised of some history, some news, and a familiar tune. This next song fits into that category. It's about an historic trip to England, and it's inspired by tunes from John Coltrane, Ravi Shankar, and Andre Segovia. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you very much. Two folk singers were really important in my life. First one was Bob Gibson because he came to my school and turned me on to folk music when I was 15 years old. And the second one was a man who took a verse out of the Bible and put a tune to it. His name was Pete Seeger. Sing along if you know it. was born in Waco, Texas, and came to New York City in 1955. Her first album was produced by Buddy Holly's producer, uh, Norman Petty. And when I was first discovering the uh, Greenwich Village singer-songwriters, hers was a name that was spoken with hushed reverence. Please welcome Carolyn Hester. Singer-songwriters still going. He's one of my very favorites. I even made an album, all of his songs. I'm not kidding. I love Tom Paxton. So you can sing this with us. I know. It's a lesson to. was the last thing on my mind. You 
got reasons plenty for going This I know, this I know For the weeds have been steadily growing Please don't go, please don't go left behind I could have loved you better didn't mean to be unkind but you know that was the last thing on my mind as we walk all my thoughts keep a tumbling round and round round and round Underneath our feet the subway is rumbling Underground, the underground Now are you going away with no word of farewell? Will there be not a trace left behind? I could have loved you better, didn't mean to be unkind You know, that was the last thing on my mind When Tom sings it, he gets kind of soft right in here, so. As I lie in my bed in the morning Without you, without you Every song in my soul dies a morning Without you, without you Now are you going? There be not a trace left behind I could love you better Didn't mean to be unkind You know, that was the last thing on my mind You know, that was the last thing on my We're so happy to be invited, and uh, here's a song that uh, Billy Bragg said uh, I had to do tonight, and uh, I haven't done it in uh, many a long day, so some of you have at home the, the old version, okay, so uh, uh, James is getting us to have a new version, all right, so James is going to play. a house in New Orleans they call the rising sun it has been the ruin of a many a poor girl and me oh lordy I was one well my good mother was a tailor she sews them new blue jeans And my sweetheart, he's a drunkard, Lord Drinks down in New Orleans If I had done what my mama said sister don't you do just like I done who shun that house in New Orleans the one they call the rising sun now I'm going on It's 
it's almost run going back to spend the rest of my days beneath that rising sun lord and mama One of the things that attracted me to the, uh, the singer-songwriter movement that came out of Greenwich Village was the political power of the message uh, of those songs. And uh, perhaps the most political of the Greenwich Village songwriters was a guy called Phil Oakes. And uh, I, want to, uh, I want to pay tribute to him uh, with a song that I wrote uh, at the behest of Pete Seeger, actually, in... Uh, in 1989. You may recognize the tune. Uh, this is called I Dreamed I Saw Phil Oaks Last Night. <laughs> I dreamed I saw Phil Oaks last night Alive as you and me Says I to Phil, you're ten years dead I never died, says he I never died, says he the music business killed you, Phil. They ignored the things you said and cast you out when fashions change, says Phil. But I ain't dead, says Phil, but I ain't dead. The FBI harassed you, Phil. They smeared you with their lies, says Phil, but they could never kill what they could not compromise I never compromised Though fashions changed and critics sneered The songs that I have sung Are just as true tonight as then The struggle carries on The struggle carries on where the song of freedom rings out loud From valleys and from hills Where people stand up for their rights Phil Oaks is with us still Phil Oaks inspires us still Thank you very much. Our next guest was a good friend of Phil Oakes back in the days of uh, Greenwich Village. And now people look at him and they say that he was the singer-songwriter's songwriter. Please welcome Eric Anderson. Take me to the night I'm tipping topsy-turvy Turning upside down Hold me tight and whisper what you wish for There is no one here around You can sing some me sweet smiles Regardless of the city's careless frown the no colors fade blazing in the petal sprays of violets at dawn. In blindfold wonderments, enchantments, you can lift my wings softly to flight. 
Your eyes are like swift fingers reaching out into the pockets of my night. Whirling, twirling, puppy warm before the flashing cloaks of darkness come. So let the no colors fade blazing in the petal sprays of violets of dawn. Some prince charming I could be on two white steeds to bring you dappled diamond crowns. And climb your tower, sleeping beauty, for you ever know I left the ground. Ah, you could wear a Cinderella, snow white Alice, Wonderland it go. Come watch the no colors fade blazing in the petal sprays of violets of dawn. If I seem to wander off in dream like a looks, please let me settle slowly. It's only me just staring out at you, a seeming stranger speaking holy. No, no, I don't mean to wake you up. It's only loneliness just coming on. So let the no colors fade blazing in the petal sprays of violets of dawn. Like shadows bursting into mist behind the echoes of this nonsense song. It's just a chase and a whispering trail of secret stuff. See them laughing on. Oh, there's magic in the sleepiness, awakening to a childish sound and yawn. Come watch the no colors fade blazing in the petal sprays of violets of dawn. Oh, there's magic in. The sleepiness of wakening to a childish sound in young. Come watch the no colors fade blazing in the petal sprays of violets of dawn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to call out on my good friend and uh, who I met. It was a funny, a funny thing. I had a loft in New York, and one night um, it was incredible. Um, Eric Clapton came down, and Jimi Hendrix, and Roger McGuinn came over to play bass, and Stephen Stills, and uh, and the great bass player Chuck Rainey was there too, and Herbie Lavelle, these two great rhythm and blues players, and it was an amazing night. I'd love to call uh, Roger up now to do a number with me. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, Roger and I, we, we did some heavy touring for a couple of years with the birds. Uh, I was, he got me on some shows, and uh, yeah, well, uh, my eyes opened up, boy, about big time show 1969, business. 1970, did a lot of touring together. He was, he was solo, and he was getting $500 a night. And I had all these trucks and buses and things, and I was losing money. He was making money. <laughs> I finally got wise. Never too old to learn, huh? Yep. But uh, it was beautiful. We had some beautiful times. But we never, when, we were, when he was working with the birds and we were playing, 
we never had a chance really to play together because he was so busy, like doing, you know, it was such a, the shows and the sound checks and the interviews and every, everybody was all over him. So we never got a chance to do what we're gonna do now. So this is like the first time, so. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Finally, you know. <laughs> Long been on the open road, you've been sleeping in the rain. Dirty words and muddy cells, your clothes are smeared and stained. Dirty words and the muddy cells will soon be judged and seen. Only stop and rest yourselves till you go off again. Why don't you take off your thirsty boots and stay for a while? Feet are hot and weary from a dusty mile. Maybe I can make you laugh, maybe I can try. I'm looking for the evening and the morning, or the morning. Tell me of the ones you saw as far as you could see Across the plains from field to town all marching to be free Of the rusted prison gates that just tumbled by degree Oh, like laughing children, one by one, they look like you and me. Why don't you take off your thirsty boots and stay for a while? Feet are hot and weary, oh, from a dusty mile. Maybe I can make you laugh. Maybe I can try I'm looking for the evening And the morning Oh, the morning in your eyes Stranger down the crooked rainbow trails From dancing cliff edge shattered silver slanted shackled jails The voices drift up from below It's the walls of being scared All of this and more my friends Your song shall not be fair why don't you take off your thirsty boots Stay for a while Feet are hot and weary From a dusty mile Maybe I can make you laugh Maybe I can try I'm looking for the evening And the morning 
Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. 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 Eric Anderson, ladies and gentlemen, the great Eric Anderson. Our final guest this evening is known for her beautiful soprano voice. Uh, she began in Greenwich Village as uh, an interpreter of songs, and as her career developed, she turned into uh, a great songwriter in her own right. Please welcome Judy Collins.
Thank you. Thank you. Well, these stories of the village. First of all, welcome to today. I like today the best. People say, do you miss the 60s? No, I don't miss the 60s, but I want to tell you that they're on their way back. I know you know that. <laughs> and I made my way to New York in the early 60s. When I got there, everybody was there. Joni and, and Mimi and uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary, before they were Peter, Paul, and Mary. And uh, Ramblin' Jack Elliott and Cisco Houston and uh, Carolyn Hester was there. I love Carolyn. And when I got there, she was married to Dick Farina. And it was a very romantic crowd. And at the bar, there was a guy I used to get drunk with. And he had a kind of a funky hat on and old engineer boots. And he sang all the blues of Woody Guthrie. I thought he was pathetic, quite frankly. <laughs> of course, it was Bob Dylan. <laughs> a few songs that I'm going to sing you tonight that actually was, I suppose it was probably based on some kind of a traditional story and uh, unfortunately a story that is not so unique. Uh, I heard it in about 1960 and it's by a woman named Lydia Wood. Anacia, Anacia. 
First of all, he's done a beautiful job. Please welcome Eric Anderson, Roger McGuinn, Carolyn Hester. Come on, guys.
love to have you join us and sing that. You could sing the melody or the harmony or another song all together if you'd like, <laughs> because it is the spirit that counts. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Oh. Uh -huh.